Today I will be solving MIT Integration B qualifying exam for the year 2023. Please keep in mind this is just starting qualifier exam. They have semi final, final qualifier. Integration is from limit 0 to 4 here x c dx. Now what is this notation? Let us see this we normally we used to write uh, x c 5 okay. this is same as x factorial upon x minus 5 factorial into 5 factorial why this is we have n c r equals to what n factorial upon n n minus r factorial into r factorial we have this formula from this formula we are we are getting this so instead of this instead of this we can write like this let us see this is same as this integral is same as limit 0 to 4 so here x factorial upon here x minus 5 factorial into 5 factorial into dx now remember the factorial notations n factorial is same as what n into n minus 1 factorial this is same as n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 factorial we can decrease till you have the last number okay similarly this x factorial i can decrease up to x minus 5 so that x minus 5 factorial and x minus 5 factorial gets cancelled Therefore, this is same as integral 0 to 4. So, I can reduce this x factorial till x minus 5. So, x into x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3 into x minus 4 then x minus 5 upon x minus 5 factorial into 5 factorial dx we have. So, this x minus 5 factorial and this x minus 5 factorial gets cancelled and this 5 factorial I can send outside since it is constant. Therefore, this 1 by 5 factorial integral 0 to 4. So, I can write like this the x into x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3, x minus 4 dx. Now, here you can integrate after multiplying all these you have one options otherwise you can do one thing it will be somehow lengthy you will get what x 1 2 3 4 5 you will get x raised to 5 indices and then you can integrate linearly you can make these linearly and you can integrate otherwise what i will do i will substitute these x minus 2 as a u so let's see how it works now if i substitute if I substitute u equals to what x minus 2 then then what my du equals to my du is same as dx okay therefore from here what is x x is what u plus 2 so instead of x I can write u plus 2 what about limits limits we need to change so when when x when x tends to 0 okay when x tends to 0, u tends to what? Minus 2. u tends to minus 2. When Because when x equals to 0, therefore, u become a minus 2. When x tends to 4, u tends to what? When x tends to 4, 4 minus 2 is what? 2. So, therefore, this, one by, this is 1 by 5 factorial. Limit become what? Minus 2 to 2 x become what x is u plus 2 here u plus 2 then x minus 1 in terms of u is what here I will get u plus 1 and then here this is u and then here u minus 1 then u minus 2 and what is dx dx become my du okay now look at here now here we, we have u plus 1 and u minus 1. It is also from a minus b into a plus b. Here is what a minus b into a plus b is what? a minus b into a plus b is a square minus b square is equals to 1 by 5 factorial. Integral is from minus 2 to 2. 
Now this become what? This become u square minus one square. So we have u square minus one square. One square is same as one. Now if I combine these two, this become what? u square minus two square. Here u square minus two square is same as four. So I can write four into what we have u and du. Okay. Now up to here is everything is fine. I think. Now remember one formula over here. We have integral minus a to a f of x dx. Okay, is equals to zero when if f of x is what odd function. Okay, when f of x is odd function, then integral of minus a to a f of dx becomes zero. Okay, what is odd function? Odd function is what if f of minus x equals to minus f of x, then this this is called what odd function. Okay, look at here. Okay, now here here you can here this is what this even my even function. Okay, here e square is even function. Here also e square is what even function. Here we have odd function. Even into odd is what all this become odd function. Okay, therefore the integral. From minus two to two, odd function become whole. This become what? Become zero. Okay. So otherwise, you can one thing you can expand this, and then after substituting this integral, you will get the answer zero. Okay. Or you can by using this property, whole this integration become what? Zero.